Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to show you how you can connect this 8-bit do or 8-bit do, I don't know how to pronounce it, controller to your iPad and use it in Clip Studio Paint for the shortcut hotkeys instead of having to connect a keyboard. So the first thing I want to mention is how to connect it to your iPad. Now, I had a few problems connecting it to my this iPad that you see in the background, it's the first generation iPad Pro. Um, and I don't really want to disconnect it, but I'm going to try to connect it to my iPad mini just to illustrate how it works. Okay, so when you want to connect the controller to your iPad, the first thing you need to be aware of is that you have to use the keyboard mode. This is the instruction manual that came with the controller. You have to use keyboard mode in order to pair it to the iPad. So what you need to do is press the R button here and the start button and hold them down for five, second, five seconds and then it will blink five times. Then once that is done, you have to press the select button and hold it for three seconds in order to enter the pairing mode. And now it's like blinking really aggressively and it just showed up here on my iPad mini. So let's tap on that and it is connected. So just to see here if it's really, if it really works, I guess we can go into notes. Why does it say hug? I don't know. Um, and then it should just type letters and it does. Okay, so it's connected. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up in Clip Studio Paint. I'm going to use my iPad Pro for that because I already have it set up. I just wanted to demonstrate on the Mini because I hadn't connected it to the Mini like previously, so I wanted to show sort of a fresh install or whatever you might call it. Okay, so when you get the controller, the keys that each button corresponds to is already hard-coded into the console. So what that means is what you see here is just the name of the button, like the top round one is the X button, but that does not mean that when you press this, it corresponds to an X on the keyboard. Um, the logic, I guess, behind their method is that the iPad sees this as a, sees this as a keyboard, so each button corresponds to a keyboard key, and you cannot change that. I'm sure you can like go into some software and like reprogram it inside of this. Like, I don't, I don't even know. If you're at that level, you're probably not going to be watching this review either way. So I don't think that really matters. But just to demonstrate, for instance, um, let me focus on the iPad here. So if I press the X button on the controller, it types an H. And is it in focus? Let me focus a little bit better here. And if I press the A button, for instance, it types a G, type the, uh, press the B button and it types a J, and press the Y button and it types an I. That's just an example. So every single key corresponds to a letter. So this is the range of letters that you have if you press every single button. And that's important when you use it in Clip Studio Paint. Inside of Clip Studio Paint, when you tie these keys to a function, you have to change the letter that corresponds to that function. So for instance, if the B button normally corresponds to the brush, but you want the B, like you want the brush to be on this A button here, was that unclear? If you press B on a keyboard and it switches to the brush inside of the software, you might want this controller to have the top button correspond to the brush, which means that you need to change it from B corresponding to a brush to some other letter corresponding to this brush. I don't know if that was clear. Leave a comment down below if it's unclear. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it. So you go into file and no, you don't. You go into the P here all the way to the left and then you click on the shortcut settings. And inside here, you have this menu where you have the tool, like it's, it says tool, right? That's where you adjust the tools. Okay, so you want, for instance, this Y button to correspond to a brush, right? Then you click on brush 
and then you tap on edit shortcut and then once it becomes like editable you just click the Y on this one and then it's set I already had it set to this button so I don't have these on the d-pad I don't have the down left and right button set so let's try to set that to something um, so for instance the fill tool right now it's an F I don't know where F is on this one but let's edit that and then say okay I want down if you press down on the d-pad to be the fill tool then that's that so now down corresponds to the fill tool you see that it automatically added a D that's not really important but it's ties into what I just said after you're done installing it however you want you just tap OK and then I don't know it's gonna tell you something and then you just tap OK so now the way that it works is when you press the buttons here it will change the tool so let's see if it works we just program the down button here to correspond to the fill tool right so it should select this this little tiny tool here when I click down and it doesn't so that's great okay let's try again <laughs> uh, shortcuts fill edit down oh E oh I guess it like got it wrong anyway E it's supposed to be E right okay and now it works okay so I guess if it I'm I think I'm gonna leave this in if it doesn't work, just try again, because sometimes it's kind of finicky, I feel like. I'm going to tell you how I have it set up. I don't think everyone is going to want it the same way, but it's a start. The top one here, I, when I hold it in my hand, I hold it like this in my right hand because I'm left-handed. So yeah, that makes sense. I draw with the left hand, right? On the top A button, I have the eyedropper tool because I use that all the time. On the button here, uh, on the bottom button here, the Y, I have the um, brush, I have the oil painting flat brush, that's the one I use the most, but anyway, um, it's here. And then on X and B, on X I have the move tool, I never use that, but it's there. And on B I have the blending tool, which I use a lot too. And then on the shoulder button, the R shoulder button, I have this pen as well as the lasso tool. So you can program more than one shortcut into each key so if you press once normally if you press once it's it will go to the pen tool if you press a second time it will go to the lasso tool you can choose whether or not you want that but anyway i have it like that and then on the up button on the d-pad well up button when you're holding it in this orientation if you're holding it the way it's normally held it would be the right button but anyway this button here here corresponds to eraser which I also use a lot so that is how I have it programmed I only have like three of these that I use the shoulder button and the up button and the way I, I sort of set it up was uh, in accordance with how I hold it in my hand when I'm drawing so I'm trying to show you here um, this is how I hold it my what is this ring finger no middle finger <laughs> My middle finger is always resting on the R button, so it's really easy to just press when I want to switch to the pen. And then my thumb is always on like these A, B, X, Y buttons. And then, you know, it's easy to just like go down and hit the eraser here like that. So that is why I programmed it this way. If you prefer to hold it like in a different way, then, you know, just, I guess, in, like program it accordingly. But yeah, this is just how I normally hold it. Um, I think that's it for now. This video actually ended up being longer than I wanted it to, but I think I covered everything that I wanted to. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. I personally think if you use your iPad for drawing and if you use Clip Studio Paint, um, this tool is like almost a requirement because having to tap the ones that you use all the time especially if you're using the eyedropper tool going back and forth um, between eyedropper and like the paintbrush it's kind of gets a little bit annoying over time so having this set up with like shortcuts that are really easy to reach and just like streamlined and fast is definitely extremely helpful uh, highly recommended I'll 
guess I'll put a link down in the description below. I don't know if you can get this on Amazon, but you should be able to. I'll see what I can find. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And that's it for this time. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.